So today we're looking at the Jerome Gambit. I just had a game on chess.com. Uh, applied the Gambit through intimidation and flying through the seat of my pants. I managed to uh, pull one through. So um, here's a long blog by this guy Rick Kennedy that sort of uh, brought the Gambit to uh, a large audience. Uh, lots of posts on that. Uh, who was uh, Alonzo Wilder Jerome? Was it this dude? Was it him here? Or maybe one of these guys? Who knows? Maybe that information's lost in time, but uh, let's take a look at this game. So, uh, with the Jerome's Gambit, we set it up. Uh, King's Pawn, E4. Here's the typical response. Bring your knight to F3 there. That's the standard sort of defense. And this is where we start setting up the Jerome. We put our bishop, c4, and as soon as this uh, bishop hits the magical spot here, c5, we're all ready for the Jerome. Proceed to move your bishop here to f7. They don't really have a choice but to take it with their king. They could not take it, that'd be a bit silly. So they take the bishop. Again, we uh, bring the knight in to take the pawn. Sacrificial, it's kind of left hanging there, so their knight's just going to take that and this is where the uh, Jerome kicks in so we're two minor pieces down we're bringing our queen here to h5 they have to defend their king in which we just steal their knight here they try and bring their queen in to so some sort of defense we snag the bishop they try and intimidate the queen here so this is where we start flying by the seat because uh, you know this is uh, what Jerome would have wanted he brings his bishop in, further intimidation, and the guy resigns. That is a beautiful game. Uh, started with the Jerome's Gambit. Um, share your games with the Jerome, and uh, you know I hope you had as good success as I did. Uh, flying, I'd see your pants.